Welcome everyone, we have just literally endured the pain of 99 fletching and now we're going to move on to construction. Really quickly before we get into the next episode, I'd like to give a huge thank you to my channel members and I'd like to give a huge thank you to you guys supporting all the videos. If you're not subscribed yet or not following my socials, get those followed and without further ado, let's get into the next episode which will be construction. So for construction, we've got all the logs banked. We're going to do teak logs and my plan is to do mahogany homes, but if the XP rates from mahogany homes aren't that good then I'm going to move on to just smashing out some construction in my own house. We've got just over 7,000 teak logs so for mahogany homes I worked out that I'm going to need to make about half of those into teak planks so my idea for that is to use the last recall so what I'm probably going to do is use the sawmill at the woodcutting guild. There's no specific reason why, I just think it'll be a decent one to go to. So I'll see you guys there. So here we are at the sawmill. I believe I've got enough money for all of these teak planks. If not, I've also got all the alcables in my bank. So yeah, this is us for, I don't know, probably like an hour, maybe two. And what I'll do is bring you guys back if anything interesting happens, but I doubt it will. So it is the next day. We've made about 3,300 teak planks so far. We're actually getting through them really quickly as long as I remember to bring teak planks with me. What I'm just going to do is buy some nails and buy some bolts of cloth and obviously a saw because the idea for the first couple of levels, what I'm going to do is do daddy's home and that'll probably get me up to like level 30, I think. And then from there, hopefully I can just use oak planks, which I've got a lot from the medium clue scrolls I've been doing. And hopefully we can get to a reasonable level to start doing mahogany homes. So first things first, let's get daddy's home completed. So to start with daddy's home, it's basically just a tutorial tutorial on how to do mahogany homes. You basically have to help this old geezer out in South Farrock and all you have to do is basically repair all of his outdated furniture and then also he requires some special pranks that you have to go to the sawmill for and then that is basically the quest completed. It's a nice entry to construction because you also get some construction supplies and also it helps out with those early levels and it's always nice to have a tutorial into things of old school runescape because a lot of those for new players are a bit daunting. So there is daddy's home completed. With daddy's home completion you also get your first house if you've not already bought one and you also get a small experience boost. So there is level 28 construction straight off the bat. So what I'm going to do now is get to level 30 or maybe level 35 construction. So yeah I'm just going to go to my house and probably build like five or six chairs and then we are good to go so we're here in our house and it looks like i forgot to bring some cash that is definitely the main thing that you need for construction it's basically just a massive gp sink but with a few added benefits so now that i've got my gp what i'm going to do is build oak chairs i reckon i'm also going to build a kitchen because the oak larders are really good for leveling construction all the way to 99 if you want to do it on a budget. Okay, so I've just remembered that we do have the Unchained Talent, which can boost my level by eight. So we're now actually level 36 construction. So I can get straight to making these oak larders, which is beautiful. And after the first inventory, there is level 35 construction. Luckily our house is in Remington. So what I can do is go over to files over here. He can unnote my oak planks and then we can get straight back in there and make some more oak larders. Also, I've just found out that we need a level 50 construction to start using teak planks in mahogany. So we're going to be here till level 50. I'm hoping I've got enough oak planks. I'm sure I do. If not, I can turn to the normal planks and I'm pretty sure with both of those, we're going to have enough for level 50 construction. There is a level 40 construction. The levels are absolutely flying by. I'm hoping just like Herblore, construction is going to be a really quick one, but we will see. I don't think Mahogany Homes is going to be that quick, but it'll hopefully be pretty quick. Normal XP rates for Mahogany Homes with Teaks is about 100 to 120k XP an hour. So we should be getting just over a million XP an hour, which is pretty decent, but we will see. Right, there is level 50 construction. We can now build 25 rooms. Not sure why we would, but we can also do the Adept contract of Mahogany Homes, which is Teak Planks. So I'm going to get myself over to Falador and we're going to start ourselves Mahogany Mahogany Homes. It's going to be the first time I've done it ever, so bear with me, but I'm pretty sure I'll pick it up pretty quickly. So we are just about ready to do Mahogany Homes. I'm on the Lunar Spellbook so I can cast NPC Contact to get another contract straight away after I finish the previous contract. And also I've got the Trailblazer set effect on, which allows me to teleport to any waystone using the necklace. And also finally, fragments wise, we're looking for one fragment with construction. It's called Plank Stretcher. And basically what that's going to do is have a 50% chance 
to not use planks when I'm using them for construction, which is going to be really useful because I'm not sure if I've got enough planks for 99. If I decide to go down the route of making teak benches, which is the fastest method for using teak planks to get to 99. So I might be doing that later down the road, but we'll see how Mahogany Homes goes. So our first contract is Jeff, good old Jeff in Varrock. I've got no idea where he is, but obviously Wiki helps you out a lot. So I'm just having a look at Wiki and he is next to the museum, pretty much where we just started Daddy's Home. So that one's not too bad. Okay, we're at Jeff's house. What you need to do is get rid of all the furniture that is outlined in red and then you need to rebuild it. And basically every time you go to someone's house, there's a randomness to it. And the randomness is what items you need to take off and what items you need to repair. And every time it'll be different amounts of planks and a different amounts of steel bars. Okay, so there is our first fragment and it is the plank stretcher fragment perfect so what i'm going to do is equip that and i'm going to try and get that to level three as quickly as possible so we can save on as many planks as possible and i'm also going to learn how to do mahogany homes as quickly as possible so we can get as much xp rates as possible why isn't it possible it's just not why not you stupid bastard after you've finished with the person's house, make sure you talk to them. They'll give you a bit of bonus XP. And then also for the normal game, they'll give you a cup of tea, which resolves all matters and gives you 100% run, which I think is a really nice feature. And after that, I'm just going to do the NPC contact, get another contract and rinse and repeat. So I'll bring you guys back once I'm more comfortable with it and once I'm getting fairly decent XP rates. So there is level 65 construction. We're currently getting about 900k XP an hour, which isn't great, but it's not too bad. But what I'm going to do, I've decided that I'm just going to make teak benches in my house. You need level 66 construction for that. So I'm going to do one more contract. Well, I've only done 10 contracts in total, but I don't think getting about 1 million XP an hour is good enough for construction. I was expecting to get construction done in a couple of hours not a full day or two. So I'm just gonna finish this contract, maybe another one, and then once we hit 66, we're gonna get our ass to our house and build a garden and then start making some benches. Okay, there is level 66 construction, just one more contract later. So I'm just gonna finish off Ross's beautiful house and then we're gonna be done with Mahogany Homes for the rest of leagues. So now I'm gonna get set up in my house. What I'm gonna need is a demon butler. So I'm probably gonna have to make another bedroom put another bed in it, all that jazz, all the annoying things that come with construction. And I'll bring you guys back once we're all set up and ready to rock. So it has been a full day. What I've been doing is basically just making teak planks. And now we have all our teak logs turned into teak planks. So we should have enough for 99. I calculated we need about 8,500 teak planks for 99. But I'm hoping with the plank stretcher getting to level 3, we should save enough planks for it to be less than 7,200 teak planks. Fingers crossed. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly set up my house, get a demon butler, make a garden. And then we will be ready to do the teak bench extravaganza. Right, here we are with the teak benches. I'm going to have to try and work out what is the best method for benches. It's the first time I've done it. Normally, the main thing you work out is when to send the butler to get you more planks. So then it can arrive basically on the tick that you finish the last bench. But it looks like we are flying up the levels. There is level 68. And as you can see, that wasn't a very good time to send the butler away because now I'm stood here waiting. So yeah, I'm gonna try and work out what is the best time and how is the best method to do it. Obviously with the plank stretcher fragment, we're gonna save some planks every now and again. So it's gonna be pretty difficult to keep it consistent, but I will try my best to get the best XP rates possible. So there is level 80 construction. We're getting about 5 million XP an hour. So we've only really been doing this for about 20 minutes and we're already level 80. But yeah, I'm just about getting the hang of this and I'm actually quite enjoying it. So we will be 99 within about two hours. There is plank stretcher level two. So now we save 30% of planks, I believe it is. So yeah, as you can see, sometimes I build a bench and the planks just stay there, which is pretty good. But obviously trying to keep consistent and trying to get into a rhythm, it's pretty hard. But yeah, I'm not complaining. The more planks we save, the better. I'm getting a bit skeptical on having enough planks for 99 construction. And there is level 
85 construction. What I'm going to do when I hit about 90 construction, I think, or 91, I'm going to start making the pool and I'm also going to make a jewelry box. That's pretty much all I'm going to make in my house. I don't really need anything else for what I want to do with the rest of the account. Obviously, if I find things that I need, I'll probably just make them, but making the ornate pool and also making the jewelry box is very expensive. I didn't calculate how expensive they were into my cash stack, so I'm probably going to have to out for quite a while to afford my ornate pool and my ornate jewelry box. Right, don't put too much weight on it, right? Where, where the fuck am I meant to put my weight? Wait, I can't put my weight in the roof, it's dead fun. I can't hold on to it. What am I meant to do with that? Oh, you know, I've been holding for five minutes. You're fucking wank stain. No, man, I can't just fucking move it. <laughs> so there we have level 90 construction. Like I mentioned previously, we're more than halfway through our planks and we're not even halfway to 99. So what I'm going to do to combat that is I'm going to make sure I get tier 7 right now. There's no more messing about. We have to get tier 7 now so we don't have to make more planks. And if we don't get tier 7 now, then we're not going to have enough planks for 99 construction. So it's about time we got it. So what I'm going to do is go on a big bender and I'm just going to try and complete as many tasks as possible until we hit tier 7. I've got quite a few ideas in mind. There's quite a few easy monsters that I can kill and I'll bring you guys back once we are at a good position so we pretty much have everything apart from gp for the ornate pool and also we're going to need some anti-venom to get the top tier for the ornate pool i've got an idea of how to get that i've got some coconuts and i've got some irit seeds and also you need magic roots which i've got all of those so i'm pretty confident about making the pool but yeah at the moment all we need is cash because we need to buy quite a few gold leaves and we also need to buy quite a few marble blocks which all cost hundreds of k's each so i'm gonna need a lot more money than what i've got now so i've just out a few random items in my bank mainly the stuff that i got from the rare drop table from fishing so we can pretty easily get the fancy rejuvenation pool we just need two marble blocks for that and then i'm going to try and buy as many gold leaf as i can because we need five gold leaf for the ornate rejuvenation pool and i think we also need about three or four gold leaf for the jewelry box so yeah anyway, we need quite a lot of gold leaf so that is everything bought for the ornate pool we just need to make some anti-venoms which will get done shortly so i'm just going to make the ornate pool or the fancy rejuvenation pool and then we will work on getting the stuff for the jewelry box so there are the skill naces and the combat braces made for the jewelry box what we need now is some glories made and we also need some rings of wealth i'm pretty sure rings of wealth you can't charge them on the pool at the miss guild but i'm not 100 sure so i'm still going to try it but before we do that let's get the basic jewelry box made as you can see we've already got the fancy pool and now we've got a fancy jewelry box so now we need two more gold leaf and we also need the amulets of glory and the rings of wealth so i'll bring you guys back once that's all been done right so that's the glories charged on the fountain and yeah you can't charge rings on the fountain yeah i'm pretty sure i have to go to the wilderness to the big fountain can't remember what it's called and i'll get these rings of wealth charged so rather than out my way to more money what i'm going to do is i'm going to pickpocket the paladin because we're going to need a lot of chaos runes for later in the game actually pretty soon for the combat grinds so i'm going to try and get plank stretcher to level three and with that i'm going to try and get some more fever xp hopefully get 25 million fever xp for the task but ultimately i'm going to try and get loads more chaos runes right so there is plank stretcher level three as you can see we've got about 7500 more chaos runes and we've also got ourselves 21 million fever xp so what i'm going to do now is get to tier seven i'm just going to complete any random task that i can until we hit tier seven i'm not going to stop i'm not going to do any more construction because i'm a bit skeptical on how many planks we've got left for 99 but i'm pretty sure as soon as we hit tier seven we will be laughing because we'll be getting a lot more xp per plank so yeah i'll bring you guys back once we are tier seven and we are in a good position.
So what we need is an uncut onyx, and as you can see, it's 260,000 tockle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the chaos runes that we had, and I'm going to sell them at this shop. They sell for 31 each, but I'm pretty sure as soon as they go over the shop's maximum, they go straight down to 9 tockle each. So yeah, you need on average about 30k chaos runes to reach the 260k tockle. What I'm going to try and do though is I'm going to try and open and close the shop as many times as I can, because in leagues, the good thing about it is that when you open and close a shop it just resets the shop so everyone can buy and sell because obviously everyone's iron man and all that jazz so yeah we'll see how it goes so i found a pretty good spot to get the shopkeeper trapped in and what i'm going to do is just click on the shopkeeper sell 50 click on the shopkeeper sell 50 and rinse and repeat hopefully we get a lot more tackle than we need because i'm going to need a lot more tackle than 260k by the end of leagues but all that content is for combat so i'll let you guys know what my idea is right so there is 260,000 tackle purchased so we're just going to go and buy an uncut onyx and then i'm probably going to make it into a fury oh and there is tier 7 unlocked beautiful i didn't know there was a task just to purchase an uncut onyx but there it is we are now tier 7 we are now going to get 16 times the experience rates very nice so yeah i might as well just finish off the task and make myself an amulet of fury so i'll see you guys over there right there we go there is an amulet of fury made and there is an amulet of fury enchanted so we are now tier 7 and i now no longer really care about points all i really care about is maxing this account and getting as much xp as possible so now that's all out of the way we're going to get ourselves back to our house get ourselves back to those teak benches and we are going to smash out the rest of this 99. And here it is guys, 8.3 million XP an hour, which is much better than before. And there is 99 construction, finally. This 99 didn't take that long. It was just the whole process of making the pool and also making the jewelry box, which I still need to finish off. But yeah, there it is guys, 99 construction has been achieved. We've finally finished all of the skills. We can now move on to the combats, beautiful. So I'm just gonna collect some more irrit leaves because we need irrits to make anti-venoms. And now what you can do to get coconut milk is use a hammer and make sure you have some vials in your inventory on a coconut and that will get you some coconut milk and now we can make ourselves our anti-venoms so that's all the gold leaf purchased finally i've been alking those steel plates like nobody's business and we also have our anti-venoms ready and we also have our rings of wealth and our glories so we can now finally make our ornate jewelry box and our ornate pool so there is the ornate pool made i need a saw and a hammer what a schnoob okay so there is the ornate pool made and there is the ornate jewelry box made that is it that is our house for the rest of leagues so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you like the video and you've not liked it yet hit that like button and if you're not subscribed yet get yourself subscribed also if you're interested in my socials they are in the description and hopefully i will see you guys in the next episode